Welcome back everyone. This is now the six month update of our oldest ongoing graphene products longevity test, that being our eight way graphene products test. We've had a lot of rain this past month, along with pretty average temperatures, but I will leave the last 30 days and the lifetime weather on your screen here. This will be the last update for this hood since a large majority of them have failed if, if you've been following this test, but almost all of them are in my other larger graphene products longevity test called the 25 way graphene products longevity test. Hence, no longer a need for this one. And of course I need the hood for my upcoming Chinese coatings longevity test. We'll spray this hood down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it, rinse to inspect the hydrophobic before we dry everything off. As usual, the links are in the description to the video as to where you can buy these products as it does help the channel out. I also have awesome spreadsheets that I keep for most of these tests, so that is also in the video description. If you'd like to support the channel, the information is on your screen here. If you're new to the channel, not familiar with these tests, I've been doing tests like these for the last six years now. This hood sits outside of our shop 24 hours a day, seven days a week, exposed to the elements, and we wash and inspect it on a weekly basis for the first month, and then on a monthly basis after that until the last one fails. However, as I said earlier, because of the circumstances, this will be the last update for this test. I do have other tests, as I said, always running alongside these, so please go check those out. These tests are not possible without your support. I'm purposely unsponsored, and I promise to you guys that I will never accept money for a review of a product. I'm completely neutral and unbiased, and that 100% of these products are purchased out of my own pocket unless otherwise stated. As I said earlier, I don't do paid reviews for companies, and believe me, they've tried, because I want to know the real truth behind the best products out there for everyone. I do want to take a moment to remind you that if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. Smash the like button and comment down below. It does help others to get to see these videos by doing so. We are just about at the 25,000 subscriber mark at the time of narrating this and growing quickly. And I want to thank you guys all for the continued support. Please continue to share these videos and show your support for channels like this. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. Adam's graphene ceramic coating looks like it's holding up very well. Not surprised at the six month mark, even with the amount of rain we've had. The Adams Graphene Spray Coating, it looks like it's failed. The Adams Graphene Detail Spray also looks like it's failed. Drive Victory Nano Graphene nearly failed. You see a, a theme here. SPS Graphene doing outstanding. 303 Graphene Spray. This is the old batch if you follow any of my other tests. That has failed. IGL Easy Pre Production looks great and IGL Kenzo Graphene Reinforced looks great. So all of these except for the Adams Graphene Detail Spray are in the new Graphene Products 25 way coating test. So we're gonna mark these in our spreadsheet and that'll be the end of this test as the ones that have survived like Adams, SPS, Kenzo, etc. We're just gonna mark the six months, so 180 days but just with an asterisk right next to it. So there you go, guys. Thanks again. See you soon.